Uh, we're here with uh, our sock yarn. Uh, we've designed new colors. Uh, these are quite summery, inspired by the geraniums in our garden. And uh, a while back, we did a tutorial that we called the easy, how to knit the easiest sock in the world, uh, which we find, well, we find, we find that we find particular sock to be the easiest sock, especially the heel, because it doesn't take that much. And I mean, once you've done, once you've knitted the toe, of the sock, you can do the heel because it's exactly the same thing. But we did receive a few questions, a few comments on um, on uh, the YouTube after uh, we we aired that episode. That um, some people wanted to see how we took away that uh, that marker and how, and how we put the stitches back on the, the needle. Stitches. So we thought we'd show that again, or actually we didn't show it the first time. So we thought we'd show it again and show you the heel that is going to be looking, as you can see, this is the, the way the heel will be looking once it's you've finished. done that, once yes. it's finished. And on this one you see the red line, that's the, the two needles where we knitted the heel or where the heel will be. So we, we put on, we, we knitted in extra yarn just to mark the heel. So when you pick up the stitches for the heel, you have to look where the stitches are. And we don't take the yarn out before after, because then you can lose a lot of stitches. And when you see where the yarn is going, you see that this is the first stitch. And then you just go on, pick up every second yarn thread, like this, until you have 16 on the needle. And this is what you do on the four needles. You pick it up like this. We tried to take out the yarn before we picked up the stitches, but that's not a good idea. It's so easy to lose every stitch. Then the next needle, you pick up the 16 next. Because we increased when we made the sock until we had 16 stitches on each needle because that fits our size. You can make more or less stitches. It depends on the size of your foot. So this is how we pick up stitches. So basically that's 16. how you do it. You just then, I, yeah, then I took the stitches above the marker, then I do the same under. Now it's a bit tight because when you pick it up it's a bit tighter, but as soon as you take the yarn out it will be fine. So I take this one over there. that and then you have to get rid of the red the red thread then i pick out the red one and you just pull that out right yeah so now when i do this you see the stitches are on the needle and i didn't lose them that's great So now I take out the last piece of the, the extra yarn. Then I have all the stitches on the needles. Now it's time to knit the heel. That's it. So what does it look like now? Now it's like yeah. this opening. Yep, yeah, there's an opening here. And you see on the on the other sock, you see how the heel goes in. 
So now it's important that you have your decreasing on the heel on the same side as, as the you had the, the increasing yeah, on the toe. They sh should match. So now I take the yarn and find the same place on the yarn that I used when I started. So I, I started where the purple went to brown. So I have to find the same place. There it is. And there purple it is. is going to brown. So I started the heel by knitting the brown. You can start on top or under, it doesn't matter. So I just start on this side. And then I knit one round like this. Just knit 16 on each needle. And when you do this heel, it's going to look a little bit pointy uh, once you've finished it off. But the moment you put it on, it will shape to your foot. And uh, eventually it won't look like that anymore. It will look like a proper heel. Proper heel. So that's actually quite surprising that this can actually become uh, quite an easy sock to do. And you won't get that result in the end once you start wearing it. And there's, you have some sewing when you finish the heel. Yeah, you, you have just have to, to sew the tip. The tip and also uh, here, both sides. on the sides. Yeah. Oh, and here, the yeah. holes on the, the sides. The holes on the side. Yeah, there's going to be a hole there, but that's, it's supposed to be like that and you're supposed to just sew it. And now you continue knitting around and you decrease on every second round. But you have to decrease on the same side as the yeah. increase. Maybe you can show one round if not, of decreasing be, before we... Yeah. So I just knit the four needles and then I show you the decreasing. Now I knitted one round with just knit and then I, it's time for the decreasing. The decreasing, yeah. So you see now the toe and then the heel will go point in the same direction. So I have to do decreasing on this side and this side. So I start with knit one. Then I knit two together like this. I just knit them together. Very simple. Then I knit the rest of the needle, the stitches on this needle. Mm -hmm. That's normal knitting. Then I go to the second needle and then I will do the decreasing in the end of the row. On, in the end of the row. So you knit until you have three stitches left on the needle. And we've already posted the pattern for this sock. It's uh, available in our website. Just look for how to knit the easiest sock in the world. We've also done the tutorial that shows uh, basically how to do the sock and now that you got a little tutorial on the heel it should be easy to do this sock and then once you've done one you'll need to do a second one so mm. you'll get lots of practice with this one. Now I have three left on the second needle so I knit the two together and then I knit the last one so now I've done the two first that's under the foot now I take the two next. So I start with knit one on the third needle and knit two together. And I do exactly the same. I knit all the way, uh, all, all, what, how you say? I knit the rest of the stitches, just knit. And then, Then on the fourth needle, the last needle on this round, I knit until I have three left. And then I knit two together and I knit one. So three left, knit these two together. And then I knit one. So now I did one round with decreasing and then you just continue like this. Now the next round you just knit all the stitches and then again on the next one you decrease.
So it's very easy. And when you finish it will look like this. So it's very important that you have the toe pointing in the same direction as the heel. And then you have some stitching to do and yep. then you have a sock. And you have the it's easiest easy. sock in the world. That's it. Mm -hmm.